Today, Philadelphia police released new information about the deadly shooting of a man who died trying to stop three people from stealing his car. Here's where everything happened. Police say Michael Salerno was shot last night at 12th and Porter in South Philly. Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden is at police headquarters with the very latest on the investigation and reaction from one woman who was very close to the 50-year-old victim. Joe. Yuki, Natasha just spoke to a detective who's been on the clock for 18 hours trying to figure this one out. They've spent all day analyzing surveillance video to capture the moments right before a man is fatally shot while trying to stop a carjacking. Michael Salerno, born and raised in South Philadelphia, was overly cautious about his surroundings. A man who played it safe, according to family. It's kind of crazy that something like this would happen to someone like him. But then again, it happened so close to home, you never think it's going to be you until it is. Brittany Decker said Salerno was like a stepfather. He was her late mother's longtime boyfriend. Investigators say moments before 11 Wednesday night, Salerno attempted to stop a carjacking at 1130 Porter Street as three teens tried to steal his car with a friend of his in the front passenger seat. Police say one teen had a gun out and pointed at the passenger when Michael Salerno stepped in. We need the public's help. In locating and identifying these offenders. The offenders have been described as three African American males appearing to be in their early teens, all dressed in dark clothing. After shooting Mr. Salerno, the offenders returned to a newer Kia Soul SUV, which is red in color with an out of state license plate. Police say Salerno was shot once. He died right there in the street. Investigators recovered a single shell casing. He um, was one of the most cautious and safe people I think I know. So for something like this to happen, as much as I believe that he jumped in to save a friend because that's the type of person he was, he was also the most cautious and most safe person. And the Salerno family tells us these circumstances are now quite ironic. Philadelphia police detectives building their case before the moments of the shooting and then also after. They do have some, some good leads that takes that car that stopped in the 1100 block of Porter Street straight over the bridge and believing to have originated in Camden. They are expected to drop surveillance footage at any time. They're hoping the public will be able to help them solve this homicide. That's the latest for now. We're live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters. This is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. All right, Joe, thank you very much. Also